we had an internal drive to top ourselves, and that's something that's never left uh, the band and is still a part of us today. I think that we um, have something to prove to ourselves, and we just, you know, we want to we want to make the best music that we can um, while we can do it. Well, with anything I do, if I'm going to do it and commit to it, I'm going to you know, go home and work until I can't stay up anymore to get this thing done done right. And I think uh, I, I'm not coming into this just to you know get in and get out. I'm getting into this to make the best record possible and, and uh, try and put on the best tour possible. And to get that opportunity to go out with the four of us, the four original members, and, and play these songs is special. When we got back in the room to jam, it was just like, wow, there's that chemistry. There is something that happens magically. At the time, we were talking about just put, piecing together two or three songs, maybe a song to release to, to promote the tour. Well, it started off as talk, talk of just a tour, and, and I wanted a record uh, from the beginning. The more we started talking about it, and the more we just started jamming together, the more, the more the stuff just started to come out and pour out of us. And then we just started talking about a record. And then after that, you know, we decided let's just go for the gusto and, and do it do it right and do a whole record. I, I love to write music and I, and I love to, to play and perform and I felt like it's just what I was supposed to be. Scott's always been a, a very prolific writer. In terms of how I'm writing this record, it, it's, it's kind of like how everything was before. Um, it starts from the subconscious and something kind of comes out and then I write about it and then I you know, in, in the past, I, I didn't really think too much about it, but it seems like the lyrics made sense to my life like two years after the fact. It feels good. It feels very, it, fe it feels current. It doesn't feel like this album should have come out in 2003 and is going to sound like it should have come out in 2003. There's a lot, of, a lot that we've all gone through, um, and I think a lot of those experiences are going to come out on this record. Uh, lyrically, uh, a lot of it deals with us, what we're currently going through, what we went through to get us to this point right now. And it's pretty much about coming full circle and how time heals kind of thing and, and times change. There's a lot of reflection in this album. It's more just about real life from a perspective of someone who's lived it. I think that's what people are gonna wanna hear that. There's a few songs that you'll say, yeah, that, that sounds familiar, but it's, we didn't, we didn't just remake an old record and, and you know make it sound like Creed from 2002. I think it does sound like Creed from 2009. And I'm excited about it. It's it's like we didn't miss a beat, and, and all the years apart actually have benefited this record. Our record is very well balanced. You know, it's got a little bit for everybody, just like they've all been. The difference on this record is that we've lived more life, and we've, like I said, we've been digging for six years. So we've all gotten much better at what we do. Uh, so the record is gonna hopefully shock a few people with, with what's on it. That's probably the best part of this uh, experience. We loved what we what we did. We love what we do. You know, one, one time the band was on top of the world. I don't know what's going to happen, man. I really don't. I know that we're doing the best we can today. And we're putting together a killer record. I'm loving what we're doing musically. Our band and, and the music that we create, it's what I do. It's what we do together. It just felt like a piece of me was missing. We're doing it as a family. Absolute all fairness to Scott, Creed isn't Creed without him singing. Like, I don't feel that Creed is Creed without Mark playing guitar and me playing drums and, and Brian playing bass. And to me, it's an experience, you know, above everything else. To, to play on that massive scale is just something that you can't. There's, there's few people in the world that, that can relate. It's a, it's a rebirth and a moving forward and leaving things behind and coming full circle. Fire and belief that this is what we're supposed to be doing, it'll be that way again.